Hey guys, what is going on? This is Carnalbert 5 and today I have a special gameplay for you guys. Uh, this is a World Series matchup. We're playing Nunez44, who was in the World Series last year and one of the better players. Um, so this should definitely be a tough matchup. He's pitching Strasburg, I'm pitching Strasburg. We both have pretty good lineups. Uh, he's got a few different players. Uh, as you can see, he has Stanton and I think he had a few other different players, but our lineups are kind of similar. Anyways, we're playing at Chase Field. I decided to give Chase Field another try. Uh, and I'm leading off Ian Kinsler. So, uh, guys, I want to talk about something real quick. I've heard a rumor that if you play in a certain stadium that the umpires in the wind are tied to that. I'm not entirely sure if that's true. Um, of course, you have to have the same time and then the same uh, day or the same time and the same day as well. So, you know, you have to choose the same month, the same day is what I'm trying to say. And then I heard the wind and the umpires are tied to that. So I just realized that the umpires in Chase Field is extremely inconsistent and tight. So... I don't know if I'll be playing there again, but anyways, let's get back to the game. Uh, we get a runner in scoring position, and Dawson just grounds out to shortstop. Like I said, I feel like I cannot pull anything with that Dawson. Anytime I try to pull it, it's a ground out or it's a fly out, and I feel like I've been on some pretty some pretty good uh, pitches too. Uh, the next inning, our opponent flies out to right center. Oh, he had Corey Seager. That was one of the other players he had differently, and I hate pitching Corey Seager, man. I really do. Missed my spot and walk him. Then he has Dawson come up with a 3-1 count. I missed my spot. Fortunately, my opponent was extremely late. In pre-patch, guys, this would, this would have been a home run. By the way, this is the post-patch. This is my first post-patch ranked season's gameplay. So, pre-patch, no doubt in my mind, that would have been a home run. Um, he was really late on it. So, I don't personally, I don't think he deserved a home run there. And he didn't get one. And then he popped out to the catcher. Next inning... We go ahead and lead off with a Bryce Harper single up the middle. And I love this Bryce Harper card, and I think this card might eventually get upgraded. I don't know if it'll be today or when they did their upgrades. I don't know. And then David Wright comes up, and he lines out to center. Um, I try to intentionally be late on da with David Wright because he's a push hitter, and I feel like he hits better to oppo, and he just it's kind of just easier to hit to oppo. But I could I should have pulled on that one. I should have pulled that one. And then Posada comes up and rips a double to left center. That's going to be a ground roll double, or we might have had a chance to score. He goes ahead and walks Daniel Murphy, puts him on. And we got Strasburg a one out. I actually put pretty good wood on this one. And that's actually going to get over the left fielder's head, and it's going to be another ground roll double. We might have been able to score three there. I'm not sure. And then the next batter, trying to pull it, but of course I hit it right to the third baseman. Stupid on me. I should have tried to get under it, or I should have tried to hit it up the middle. I swear, every time there's a runner on third, I always... Runner on third, less than two outs, I always ground out to the third baseman. It happens so often. And then we strand two runners. Um, kind of disappointing. I left a lot of runners on. I think we both did. He goes ahead and lines out into the shift. Tough luck by my opponent. Then he gets a nice hit by David Wright up the middle. So he's got somebody on. One down. And this looks like Jorge Posada up. We throw him a change up down and away. And he's doing a hit and run. And it's going to be right hit right into a double play. Bad luck with my opponent. He's hitting he's hitting decent at this point. Um, so kind of tough luck for him. However, next inning, Bryce Harper leads off this inning with a home run. And guys, like I said, I'm hitting really well with this Bryce Harper. I didn't really use him last year. But this year, I am enjoying that card. I kind of have to enjoy it since I, I went ahead and invested so many stubs into that Nationals collection so you know I figured I'm I pretty much have to try him I could put Granderson in there but Harper um I don't know Harper is a little bit more balanced and so we go ahead and go up three to nothing next inning he leads he leads off with another single uh up the middle and he's gonna try to he tried to bunt with Strasburg but he was smart about it he was trying to do hit and run and eventually get to two strikes and smarter just to swing away it's tough to do anything with your pitchers because you don't want to bunt into a double play so you try to do hit and runs and all you can do, but sometimes it's just tough. He does get a runner to second base, and then he has this created player come up. And it looks like a slider down and in, breaks his bat and jams him, and he pops up to uh, David Wright to end the inning. So we're up 3 to nothing, feeling pretty comfortable at this point. Jorge Posada comes up, 3-2 count. He pretty much threw me a hanging, I think it was a hanging slider. I hit it up the middle, off the wall. I thought that might have been out. Honestly, last year I think that would have been out because I think that was a green swing, but whatever. I'll take the double. Posada's killing the ball. Yeah, that was pretty much a, a hanging slider down the middle, center green, and it, it didn't go out. So, but whatever. Strasburg, uh, no, not Strasburg. My bad. Kinsler comes up, rip, rips one into the gap, 
and that's going to be another double. So again, this is post patch, and you can see that offense is there. You just if you square up the ball, the offense is there. And Kenny Powers rips another single up the middle. That's going to go ahead and score a run. Um, honestly, it feels very similar to 16 right now. At this point, the only thing that I think they need to fix is just need to have the center greens be a little bit more rewarding. Like that was close to being a center green. It was hit 93 miles an hour. I guarantee if that was a yellow swing, it would have been hit like 100 something. Uh, he goes ahead and hits Reggie Jackson. Dawson comes up. He goes ahead and brings in Familia. We're up five to nothing at this point, and I thought I hit this one pretty well. But like I said, I just feel like you cannot pull the ball, with Dawson. And I feel like the uh, some of those pitches to Dawson, they just kind of die. And I feel like it's post patch, I do see that a lot. Like a lot of like if you're on on top of the ball at all, so just even slightly, it's a weak grounder. So I really feel like you have to either be right on it or you have to be under it a tad. <clears throat> As my opponent lines out to Dawson to end the inning, we're still at five to nothing. We got eight hits, he's only got two, but he's hitting decent, so I know I have to keep piling up the runs. And what do you know, Bryce Harper, another bomb, almost goes in the pool. <laughs> and we go up six to nothing. So I'm feeling pretty comfortable at this point. Posada, double machine. Well, if he could run, he'd be a double machine. Half the time, these are only singles, like this one, it's only a single. Uh, Posada killed at this game. I, I think he got on base every time. Then Murphy comes up, and some bad luck for myself as I line out into a double play. Uh, next inning opponent comes up. I believe that's, I think that was David Wright. He lines out to center, flies out to center, whatever you want to call it. And then his Posada to account. And I thought I was going to get to this or I would have dove, but it goes right through the hole there between first and second. Buddy Bell comes up, hits it pretty decent. That's going to be another line out for Nunez. So like I said, he had some tough luck. We both had some tough luck. Um, sometimes it just comes down to random randomness and luck when you're playing good players. Sometimes it just comes down to flip a coin because these matches are so so even. And we kind of jam him a little bit. I wouldn't say jam him, but he was late on that and it was middle in. Uh, so I don't know if he was jammed or not. I think it, well, it did say late jam there, so I think he was jammed. But the, the sad thing was pre-patch, that would have been a home run. It almost went out, but pre-patch, that would have been a home run. So like I said, I still think that opposite field is still... I don't think it's necessarily opposite field. I think it's just yellow swings in general now are just inc incredibly just OP. And Corey Seeker finally gets me. I missed my spot with a changeup and pretty much hang it. Six to two at this point. And then right here, it, like the just late, you know, middle end. Granted, that wasn't a great pitch. Like those, they're still kind of there, you know? I don't know. They're still kind of there. As you can see, it's up and in. Like, I don't think those hits should happen. But they're better, but they're happening less often. And that was really, um, I mean, there's only a few this game. It was a lot better. It's still a lot better post-patch, and I think it's a step in the right direction, but you can see there's still some things they, they have to fix, in my opinion. And his John Carlos Stanton rips a single past my third baseman, even with a shift on. David Wright comes up. I have Nate Jones in at this point. Went ahead and took Strasburg out. And then David Wright makes a crazy hit. I think that was down and outside the strike zone. And he rips one. And he has some confusion here on the base path. And I was like, okay, easy out. My guy don't tag him. He just runs by him. So my advice, guys, if you have a situation like that, just throw it to a bag and wait for them to come back. Or if you try to move it all, they just don't tag. That's something else that needs to be kind of fixed. And then I, I pretty much threw him a sinker down the middle here. I didn't get a ball in. That was my fault. It was, wasn't really like a, a just late hit. That should have been a home run. That was literally right down the middle. And what do you know? All of a sudden, it's a tie game. Uh, we go ahead and jam Buddy Bell there. For an easy fly out to uh, to Bryce Harper, and then full count, and I don't know who that was batting. I think that might have been his pitcher, but he pops out to the catcher. So now we have ourselves a tie game. He brings in Nate Jones. You can see he's having some control issues. That's my only complaint with the Nate Jones. He does have, con I won't say control issues. It's just hard to control his pitches because they have so much break. Dawson hits one off the pitcher, runs it out. Those are pretty much the only hits I, I feel like I get with Dawson, like up the middle or opposite field where he runs him out. or I, I just feel like I hardly ever pull it. So Harper came up. He went and brought Chapman in, and then I knew right away he was going to bring a lefty, and that was going to go straight to Kutch. It happens almost every game. Um, it's nice to have a player like that off the bench. And I Kutch rips one pretty much down the middle in the left field. So we have bases loaded, no outs. Let's see if we can not choke this. Uh, David Wright kind of fights one off a little bit. Fortunately, his his uh, attributes for his lefties are very good, so he's able to get the ball deep enough in the right field. And we're able to tag up, and we take a one-run lead. It is now 7-6. to six. Basada comes up, still hitting. 
Looks like another double. And but it's not a double, it's a single, of course. Like Posada should have had like three or four doubles this game. Uh, we go he, he hit it too hard, honestly, because we didn't have a chance to uh, score a guy from third. Usually that would score the guy on third. And then he brings in Batantis. I go ahead and go with Miggy. I'm under that slurve. Batantis messes me up. I I think he's tougher to face than Chapman, honestly. Like righty on righty. Compared to lefty on lefty. I'd rather face I'd rather face Chapman lefty on lefty. And then I, I choke again with bait, runners on. I stranded a lot of runners, especially less than two outs, where all I had to do was, you know, put the ball in play. <laughs> but it is what it is. We go ahead and go with Chapman. He's got his creative player up. And I feel like his creative player would always get a hit. I hate I hate facing the creative player. Uh, kind of, I don't know. I kind of see why they leave it in the game, but at the same time, I kind of wish it was gone. But anyways, Corey Seager comes up, uh, hits a weak fly ball to left field, jammed him a little bit. Reggie Jackson makes the catch, gets the ball in, and his Dawson comes up, 3-2 count. And we're going to try to get a pitch there, down and in. And we missed our spot a little bit, but we got it in just enough. And he still about hit it out. And Kutch, I thought, was going to catch this for how good his fielding was. He really hasn't impressed me too much. But it does get past McCutcheon. And it's going to be a long single. And he wasn't able to score either, fortunately. So, like, that's, like, again, that's middle in. The very outside ed edge of the seams is, is touching the middle of the plate. Uh, but it is what it is. And then Chapman gets a strikeout, just blows a fastball by him. Then I go to Batances. He goes to another lefty off the bench. This is Anthony Rizzo. He lays off the cutter middle end. We go with a slurve down and in. He hits it somehow, and it's going to stay foul. So this is definitely a big at-bat here of two outs. We need to get this runner. Somehow he had a green swing on that, even though about hit him in the foot. We go with a cutter away. I thought I was going to get him looking. Fortunately, he didn't hit it hard enough, and it's just going to be a fly out to center. Pre-patch, that might have been a home run too. I mean, pre-patch was ridiculous. Like, almost anything away where you had a yellow swing was just absolutely crushed. So it's 8-6 to six at this point, and Ian Kinsler rips a hanging slurve up and in where we're right on it. Well, I thought it was right on it, and it's a fly out. We can't see because the inf the the shift there or whatever the infield defensive positioning, but if you watch the the replay, it looked like I was right on it. And again, that's my kind of complaint. I think that's everyone's complaint at this point is the green swings aren't being rewarded. The yellow swings are just a little still too OP. It's not just the opposite field hitting in general. Uh, we do jam our opponent there. Miggy goes ahead and makes the play. So we got one down in the eighth, and then I threw him a fastball outside the zone, and he crushed it. Good hit by my opponent. Can't really do much about that. Last year it was too easy to hit high fastballs even out of the zone. I didn't expect him to hit that, but good hit by good hit by him. And Buddy Bell comes up, rips a slurve for a single up the middle, and now he has the winning the winning run coming to the plate. Or the go ahead run. I shouldn't say winning run. Go ahead run. He puts in Jason Worth. I was kind of surprised he had Trey Turner on his bench with inside edge, and he would have avoided this double play. But Jason Worth hits one into a tailor made double play, so we're still hanging on to our lead eight to seven. And I think that's Andre Dawson again hits it off the pitcher. Again, I feel like that's all he can do. Sit it up the middle. And then Kutch, I was under this one. I thought initially maybe I hit it better, but no, I, I think I was way under this. And uh, Kutch flies out to left field. Trying to get some insurance runs because I know it's going to be tough to close the ninth with just a one-run lead against uh, how good my hitter, my opponent is good at hitting. As you can see, we're under that a tad. Um, you know, I don't expect a home run from that. If it gives me one or whatever, if my opponent would have got one off it, I can kind of live with that because there's just a bit under it. And then we line out to first base again. David Wright, I'm trying to go opposite field. I think it was a line out. It might have been a ground out. He walks Posada. He doesn't want anything to do with Posada. So I think Posada got on base like five times. He goes ahead and walks Cabrera. We got bases loaded and choked again. That's Matt Carpenter grounding out to second base. So kind of disappointed in myself for how many runners I stranded. But now we have to rely on a bronze pitcher to shut this game down. We got Jake Diekman in. Gets the first one to roll roll over to shortstop. Get him looking on a sinker. I was just attacking him. Now I was trying to be really careful with Dawson because I knew Bryce Harper was on deck. And he had no more pinch hitters. And when you throw a slider away, he chases, rolls over to Kinsler. And that's going to do it for the game. Very well played game on both sides. Um, again, this was post-patch. We get 14 points. Move up to 957. As you can see, my opponent was 921. Uh, this was a really good matchup. 
So uh, good game to my opponent. And I want to talk about uh, my initial impressions post patch. Again, I've, I've said this a lot. I still feel like greens are not being rewarded enough. While yellows, whether it's early or later, just late, are just being hit too hard. I'm still seeing some late, just late homers. It's down. It's better. I think it's a step in the right direction, but I don't think it's perfect. And I know some people are saying that the hitting is nerfed too much. And I would be for it if, if they bumped up the hitting just a tad more and they fixed the yellows and greens and, and just swapped them. I would be fine with that. Um, I do I do can kind of see uh, some people's argument that the hitting has been nerfed too much. Um, I've heard a lot of people say it's hard to get doubles and triples. I had a lot this game. It was just one game, though, so I don't know. I'll have to play more and let you guys know. Anyways, let me know what you guys think of the patch so far. But I did hope you guys enjoyed this game. This was a well-played game, so definitely good game to my opponent. And uh, I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.